prepare to embark on a journey of fear and terror. The Halloween section is creaking open once again into another dimension. Your heart will beat fast and your palms will sweat. We first meet up with two friends. They find horror film tropes to be ridiculous and repetitive. This Halloween night will send one of the girls for the trip of her afterlife. Ready the lights and camera for some scary action. Set in the Halloween section of the Twilight Zone. Run away from the noise. God. Could you imagine being in this situation? No, but at least I know I wouldn't be as stupid as they are being. Yeah, true. Killer isn't even making it hard. They're literally throwing themselves at him. Yeah, but I mean, at least we aren't blonde, right? Sure way to get killed. Yeah, true. Alright, I'm gonna go make some more popcorn. Okay, hurry back or you'll miss the good part. Yeah, I don't think so. Who is it? What's that noise? Popcorn. You're making popcorn? Uh-huh. I only eat popcorn at the movies. Well, my friend and I are watching horror movies. Really? What? Just some scary ones. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? I don't know. You have to have a favorite movie What comes to mind. Halloween. Yeah. Uh, what's yours? Yes. Blair Witch. Is that the one where the little friends go into the woods? Yeah, you know, where they go into the woods and look for the witch. Yeah, that's right. I like that movie. I'm scared. Well, the first one was. The rest of them sucked. You never told me your name. Why do you need to know my name? So I want you to know what I'm looking Michaela.
Michaela, is that you down there? Look, you have had your fun, so you'd better leave now or else. Or else what? Or else my friend's gonna be back here any second and she'll be really mad with you when she finds out. So you didn't have a friend. She'll be back any second, so you're better be. Sure. I swear, she knows karate and she will kick the crap out of you. Oh, I'm so scared. So you better just leave. We wouldn't be killed, would How did you know that? Turn on the patio lights. Oh my god. I'm in the films. I'm them. Truer words were never spoken. Everyone wants to be in movies. As for these girls, they will never get out. They will have to live in eternal fear in this edition of the Halloween section of the Twilight Zone. If I may cut in here, just to up the creepiness a bit because it's Ramenad. As some of you may remember, a videotape from a certain show changed the life of one person forever. But what if the tape were to appear again? Notice the tricks and not the treats, for this blogger and librarian are about to get their own special viewing in the Halloween section of The Twilight Zone.
we looking for recommendations? Oh, well, I do, do have a few. Um, you ever see this classic TV show? Not really feeling that, Not nothing. Look for something a little more serious, not campy. But uh, what good old, good old Mikey boy? No, all right. I see you're looking for something really dark. It's been really special. Have you ever heard of uh, this tape? See this one, this is actually from the back. This is from our, our private stash. Uh, mysterious tapes, we'll call them. The only, uh, only thing with this though is that you only have five days to watch this. Sounds good. All right, well, have a good time with that. Hope you come again soon to the library. Finally, something original for this Halloween. Five days to watch it.
bigger than it usually is. I, I don't know what you want, but I, I guess I'm just stuck with you. All right, I was expecting a VHS tape, but all right, well. Seems like I'm not the only one that's having this issue. Mass reports of mass hysteria surrounding a video. This mysterious tape has caused mayhem and mystery for two Halloweens now. Just like the girl before them, these boys will have to suffer the consequences. Viewer discretion advised lest you'll end up in the Halloween section of The Twilight Zone. We'll be back after this. For the best 2021 Halloween costume ideas, look no further than Spirit Halloween. Your one-stop shop for women's costumes, men's costumes, kids' costumes, and more. With over 1,400 stores across the United States, Spirit Halloween is the largest Halloween retailer in North America. At a store near you, you'll find only the best Halloween costumes, Halloween decorations, and exclusive animatronics. They'll have you ready for every spooky celebration. To locate the closest Spirit store near you and the shop online, go to w www.spirithalloween.com This Halloween, we could all use a treat. Whether you're a goblin, goblin a burger, or seven, going on 70. From the robotic, uh, yeah. to the sarcastic, to the way too enthusiastic. What? No matter who you are, this Halloween, the best house on the block, is the International House of Pancakes. Back to you, Madame Master. Ramen Head, out. Bear witness to a small town, not unlike your own. A tight-knit social bubble where respect and generosity rule supreme. But something scarier than ghouls lie around the corner. Take Alex Lauderson, a young man that embodies the same values as his kin. Right now, he is ending a short journey to visit Mr. Franklin Dolheim, a longtime friend and first-hand witness to the Halloween section of The Twilight Zone. Hey Frank, how you doing? 
Hey, Alex, how are you doing? Good. Hey, mind help? Uh, mind if I help you hang up the decorations? Yeah, sure. Uh, you right. can put that one right over there in right. that branch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right about there. A good spot. Oh, that's too high. Oh. Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, bad boy. Oh, so, what are your plans for Halloween? Uh, not really a whole lot. I don't even know if I'm going to hand out candy. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just putting these up. Ah, uh, might as well. Kind of suck being the only house with the, any Halloween decorations. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Right. Got yeah. any others? Or that, that's all you want to do? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm handing out candy this year, so it's. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Uh, want to come up for some coffee? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can I justify you walking all the way over here? Exactly. Hey, Walters. Yeah, Walters. Okay. Uh, I didn't know uh, I didn't know how much creamer you wanted, so I just gave you what oh. I usually put in. Oh no, that's fine. Alright, good. Mm. Uh, so how's work been? Uh, work's been fine. Uh, still shooting? Uh, I haven't gone in a while. I still got the gun upstairs. It's just I haven't been. Oh nice. I haven't been out in a while. Uh, fair kind enough. Of, work's kind of been uh, getting in the way of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go together sometime. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, there's still that spot over uh, down by the creek that uh, I used to go, I used to go to. Oh nice. Have I taken you there? Uh, not sure actually. Uh, but I'll have to take it down. Then. Yeah. It's a pretty good spot. Mm. Mm. Did you get it too? Uh, depends. Uh, is it a link? Good evening. Uh, I wanted to uh, inform you in person that the chemical spill I've been warning you about has entered Grace River, which as you know is used for the town's water supply. I pray that you might have some bottled water in your homes. We are researching the possibilities that this chemical may pass through filters. So do yourselves a favor, stay safe, stay indoors. Thank you. chemical spill that it's clinging to pollen and, and it passes might pass through filters I, I, I don't know man well well I mean why would they tell us if they didn't want us to protect us maybe but I, listen I, Alice I'm just my friend I'm just taking precautions because I want you to be safe and I also want to be safe okay I, I understand precautions but I mean we we've had the windows open we've been breathing the air and I'll take care of it once I'm done with the faucets Frank, there, there's people walking outside. Maybe it's fine. What? Look, there's someone now. Well, it's been only a few hours ago, you know, that we were outside. Maybe, maybe it's fine. Well, it's clearly not fine if they're letting us know. I don't know. I'm, I'm still hesitant. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you, all right? I hear you. Now listen, we wouldn't be getting these messages if there wasn't a situation going on. I'm sure there's a situation. I just don't think it's that grim. Well, listen, we don't know what's going on, okay? That's probably the worst part of this. Until we get full information, we are in pretty much in the dark. All right. I agreed I might... All right, I might stay the night. Okay, L look, we can at least... I, I'm worried about your dog too, all right? Right, I, I... But just so happens we got this going on. All right, I'll, I'll stay the night. Okay. All right. All right, I'll, I'll find a spot to get settled. All right, uh, I think the basement should be fine for you. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Hey, Frank. Uh, uh, any, any news so far? 
No, so far, no. No. Okay. What are you doing down here? Just, just thinking. Just, just thinking about how everything that's happened, and just try, just trying to gather myself. Why well, down here, though? You can do it up there. But I can keep an eye on you. Just some time to to reflect on my own. You know? I mean, wh where is Bastion Road? I, I I've never heard of such a thing. I don't know where Bastion Road is. Like it. A chemical spill on a road I haven't heard of in a town that we've grown up in for all our lives. That we've explored the, the forests of, for God's sake. You're saying it like... Are you saying that it's not real? I'm not sure if it is, but I'm not sure if it isn't. Then why would the mayor send us a message about it? That's, that would just I, be I, stupid. I don't know. Maybe it's a test. Maybe maybe it's something that got leaked. I don't know. But I think... What did they say? There would be a test? If I... What did they say? There would be a test, Alex! Frank! Frank. Sometimes, things let, are let loose by accident. But let's play it like it is. Let's see... Let, if the people outside are walking around without... Without fear... And who's to say we can't? One person? I'm not sure. I'm hesitant to believe that it's dangerous, as the mayor says it is. And we both we both put him in office, right? Yes, yes. He, he said very kind words. Let's go talk over coffee. Okay. Let, let's, let's think about things. Mm. Perfect. Pumpkin spice for fall. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was uh, I thought that was a good choice. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it looks like got um, more uh, another update, I guess. Good evening, my fellow townsfolk. It's your mayor speaking to you again. It has come to my attention that a few nudniks out there uh, are disengaging from our precautionary requirements based on the chemical spill. This selfish uh, behavior from these people uh, is a true sign that they only care about themselves and not the well-being of others. Please do your best to avoid speaking to these dissonants, if possible. Uh, it is the selfish desires of these folks which has led me to declare with the guidance of our health and safety departments that the Halloween festivities are now canceled. Anyone seen or caught engaging in any kind of Halloween festivities will be disciplined accordingly. I'm warning you with peace and love, but we must take care of this problem first. Thank you very much. I have to go to the bathroom. Supposed warning won't stop him from having a happy Halloween. But Franklin, 
he has his own fears to fight. Both will end up having some form of scare, compliments of the Halloween section of The Twilight Zone. Finally tonight, here in The Twilight Zone, we are no stranger to elevators. This one will deliver a couple of friends to floors of frights in more ways than one. Your next stop, the Halloween section of The Twilight Zone. gift was it <laughs> yeah i'm serious man i don't joke around you ready all right so how about you riddle me this you're not gonna use that voice the whole night are you maybe i don't know not really listen 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 this is the first party that we've been invited to in this apartment complex since i've moved in you're not gonna be weird about it because you'll ruin our reputations i want to make a decent first impression first impressions can be important like matthew Broderick when he first got direly Man, I see your point. <laughs> I'm aware. I can be a little bit much sometimes, but I can also be a little not enough sometimes. And I want to find that middle ground because it seems like every time I don't act like myself, I don't feel like myself. And I thought- You good? Yeah, I'm just a little, just a little on edge. Um, that girl, Alice, is going to be there at the party and you know, I don't want to... You the one from the gym downstairs? Maybe. I mean, every time you see her, you just scurry away like a little rat. Like a greasy little rat. Like a tiny, greasy little rat. Greasy rat. You scurry away like a tiny rat. I know. I know I do, and I won't. I won't this time. Uh, you know, just be natural. Be really old razzle-dazzle. I'm gonna sidle right up to the kitchen counter and... I mean, one elbow up, but I'm gonna say, "Hello." Oh. You just need to be yourself. Just be natural, you know. Maybe not your full self, but enough to put out there. <laughs> I'm gonna play cool. Yeah, I am the Riddler. the button, right? Yep, we definitely did. Okay, and the elevator was moving, right? I felt it. I'm pretty sure you felt it too. Yeah, and we're still outside your apartment. That would seem to be the case. Huh. Huh. It's very... So I try the elevator again. Maybe I hit the button this time. Yeah. Yeah. This is weird. You've been weird. This is perfectly normal. This is fine. This happens all the time. It's fine. It's fine. Weird. Um, yeah. This is like really weird. This is like yelling at me. I don't know what's happening. I'm not gonna come now. This is this is this is hell. This is purgatory. This is Cuba. I don't know. This is somewhere. This is somewhere messed up. Um, <laughs> I there's something odd about this, and I'm not gonna hear otherwise. 
function did, perfectly. Did you know what this is? This is it. Huh. And I'm a little bit worried. Don't, don't be, don't be. This happens all the time. <laughs> this happens to you all the time? Maybe it's a simple malfunction? It's not a simple mal- simple malfunction. Alec Baldwin, who do you think you're talking to over here? You can't fool me with that, not again. Th this is abnormal, this is strange. We went in that elevator. Let's retrace our steps here. We went in that elevator. You pressed the button. And then I push the button. Yeah. Yeah. Then the elevator was moving, the doors open, and we were still here. That's a riddle I can't even solve. Because I'm the riddler. So now that we're still out here, we're already outside. Why don't we, why don't we just go in? We're already outside your place. Call the whole thing off. Yeah. I mean, no. No. We are not missing that party. You are gonna go there and you are gonna talk to that girl. I am gonna go there with some riddles in hand and I, I'm gonna be the talk of the town. Who's that? <laughs> we're gonna give this one more go. And if by the next time that door opens, we're still out here, something's up. chilling night of the year when ghouls come out and fear runs high. We have endured horror, ups and downs, stalking tapes and mysterious towns. All that has unfolded tonight was because they all came in contact with another dimension. A dimension of sight, sound, and mind. A haunting realm of imagination, things, and ideas. A place called the Halloween section of the Twilight Zone.